Well, I think the biggest problem that has come out of the Eurozone experience is uh, related to the banking system's large holdings of union members' sovereign debts. Uh, when these go bad, come under stress, uh, the bank's balance sheets are affected. Uh, those in turn raise the possibility of sovereign bailouts of the banking system, which would further increase the debts. So that has been really the major problem as I, as I see it. Um, if this were not the case, then defaults would happen, uh, or could happen, but wouldn't necessarily be such a big deal. We're so afraid of them because we're afraid that a default will bring down the financial system. The fiscal treaty, uh, to my mind, represents a fundamental misdiagnosis of, uh, of what the Eurozone's problems have been. Uh, in the case of Greece, certainly, there was a lot of fiscal misbehavior. But if one looks at the fiscal accounts of Spain and Ireland up to the time of the crisis, they looked very healthy. The main problem has been in the financial sector and in the banking system's instability, which has led to the need for large bailouts. Uh, I worry also that many of the targets in the fiscal treaty are not that well designed or understood even by economists. You know, how do we understand the structural deficit or calculate it? It seems to me this opens the door for a lot of disagreement. It's not clear to me that the treaty in itself will necessarily lead to the creation of a common European bond. It may be that if countries uh, respect the uh, desire of uh, the Germans and others of limited deficits over many years that there will be a political climate in which euro bonds could be created. But uh, in and of itself, I don't think the two necessarily go together. Uh, a European bond would be useful uh, for a number of reasons, one of which is that it would be an uh, instrument that um, banks could hold and use in monetary operations with the ECB uh, rather than local sovereign debt, and that would enhance their stability. Uh, compared to the situation they're in now, where they're required uh, to hold uh, individual country sovereign debts and end up inevitably concentrated in their home country sovereign debts. The wish list is a long one, and the elements are, are hard to achieve. But uh, just to go through a few of the uh, uh, elements that I would like to see in place, uh, certainly there needs to be a more uh, coordinated, comprehensive, uh, and international approach to financial regulation that takes into account uh, global financial integration. Uh, I think we need enhanced firewalls in the form of uh, liquidity facilities in uh, multiple currencies uh, and probably enhanced resources uh, on the part of the IMF. Um, uh, I also feel that, uh, that uh, um, a big element in the problems we've seen is the absence of any credible and transparent uh, procedures for you know, resolving large global financial institutions that get into trouble, you know, winding them down in a, uh, in a relatively non-disruptive way, or of winding down uh, sovereigns who need to restructure their debt. You know, if credible uh, mechanisms of that sort were in place, I think it would go far toward discouraging the sort of risky behavior on the parts of financial institutions and even some governments that helped lead to the current crisis.